I had done a video on making a better siphon tube for a uh, sandblasting cabinet, and uh, it has worked very well. But the problem that I've run into, two things. One, using very fine grit material, like 100 grit aluminum oxide, um, it has trouble uh, keeping a consistent flow when I'm doing the pressure down around, say, 30. It has a hard time pulling it up. And I think part of that is because it's increased airflow that I've given it. The other is because it's having to pull from the bottom and up, it just sucks a huge cavity and I have to continually shake this cabinet to get the stuff to fall to uh, uh, bring the material back into this so I can use it. So what I've decided to do is make a little investment in a metering valve assembly. Uh, and it works kind of on the same principle as this, except you can control the amount of air, additional air, that's going to your flow here by this set screw and a series of holes in here. The, more, the further up you bring it, the more air you're letting in. So you can fine tune it to the media that you're using. And all this does is mount to the bottom of your cabinet and I'm going to, I've put a hole in the bottom of this cabinet I'm just going to mount a flange. This is a one inch flange. I'm going to use it with a small piece of one inch pipe, mount it to the bottom of my cabinet, and then mount this. And this will go back to the gun. And I've heard good things about this, and it is supposed to uh, uh, make a considerable difference. And uh, I'm really needed now because this low pressure stuff is just killing me. It's taken me a long time to get anything done. So we're going to mount it up and give it a shot and see how it works. I don't have a good way to kind of show this in progress while I'm doing it, but it is pretty self-explanatory. There's the hole that's been put in the bot very bottom of the uh, sandblasting cabinet. What I'm going to do is mount this flange. Now, I've got the uh, short piece of pipe on the wrong side of this flange for the time being because I'm going to use it to come from the outside up so I'm centered in the hole and then I'm going to use this is very thick heavy plastic I'm going to use self tapping screws to uh, hold this to the bottom of the cabinet and I'm also um, to, to help with uh, the, the fine material bleeding out of this I'm going to uh, put a good bead of silicone around this before I mount it. That should keep everything um, pretty tight and clean. You probably just want to make sure you clean up any of the mess you've made from, uh, um, you know, screw holes or whatever. You don't want to be sucking that stuff up or mixing it up with your media. And the only other thing you need to do is you need to drill another hole. My finger coming out here. It's for your uh, um, suction tube. Because before everything was basically inside the cabinet. Now we're bringing it back in. So you'll have to pick a spot to put a hole. Well, this is where my air inlet is right here. So I decided to put one right next to it. Then you'll just run your hose through there and connect it to your gun and to the uh, valve at the bottom. All right, we got our hose installed. And if you'll notice something's different about this, the way I've been showing it on here, the breather and air adjustment assembly is facing up and that's the way it should be. I just had this thing, I wasn't paying attention. This needs to be up so it can bring fresh air into this mix, give you that Venturi effect and help bring all this stuff through the through your hose. If you have it down, uh, the sand is just going to run down in it and fill it up and drain out the bottom and not do any good. So that being said, uh, make sure it's installed that way and give you enough room up top to make your adjustment here. Anyway, we've got our hose in. We're installed. I've just drilled a hole 
came in th uh, right next to my air inlet. So it isn't really taking up any m more room. And I've got the air hooked up to it. And let's see what, this is a uh, red garnet at uh, 30 PSI with a valve assembly. <laughs> That's a much better job. Um, I hope this helps somebody. If uh, anybody's interested, I got my particular valve assembly from a company called IDS Blast. I think they're in Indianapolis. No affiliation with them, just in case you're curious where I got it. I uh, hope this helps somebody and uh, good luck with your projects.